what you get when you order David Bedeen on Tenno. <laughs> 35 years of people coming up to me and saying, ooh, you've got his face. <laughs> like it's something I fucking nick. <laughs> I mean, it's not a face you'd want to steal, is it? Think about it. I mean, it's not going to get laid. It's not going to open doors for you. You never open it for me. And definitely not your legs. Yeah, carrying on the kind of uh, product metaphor, you know, customer reviews. Lightweight and comfortable. That's great if you're a pair of shoes. Rather disappointing for a political standpoint. Bloody awful when it's a description of his sexual prowess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mind's a disappointment. Yeah, black way uncomfortable. I mean, it doesn't kind of shout out or scream macho, does it? Masculine power, bravery, none of those things. I mean, not like my father in law. My father in law, a man so fucking hard. He drove home after having his vasectomy on a motorbike. <laughs> I mean, he didn't actually have it on the motorbike. I mean, he's not a complete fucking man. <laughs> yeah. The, the kind of my last moment of bravery was becoming a stepdad. Yeah. 54 moderately content child for years. And, ooh, I'm going to marry a woman with three huge teenage sons. They are fucking enormous. I mean, they are huge. Huge. You look at me. No, 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 you step down. They could break me like an out of date Kit Kat. I'm only alive. Because, thank God they're South London boys, and I worked out. Fried chicken and weed. <laughs> Just make sure that they are kept, supplied, with fried chicken and weed. Okay? I want to keep them too fat and too stoned to want to hurt me. You know, and when the zombie apocalypse does come, and it will, it will. All I have to do is run faster than at least one of them. <laughs> you know, these brains stay in this head. I mean, it's not like, you know, they're step sons. It's not like I can use them for spare parts or anything. <laughs> yeah, so me, yeah, doing stand-up, yeah, not brave. It's kind of like just another middle-class, middle-aged, straight man talking at people, you know, with bags of unlearned confidence about shit I know absolutely nothing about. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's quite obvious that, you know, my beautiful complexion, you know, my beautiful natural complexion, because I don't have the big privilege. Yeah. My uh, dad is from Indonesia. My mum's from Belgium. She sends a uh, hi to Will's dad. Okay. And, um, you know, they met, moved here in the 60s, and now I was born. And, uh, yeah, growing up, 60s and 70s, and the 80s, you know, I was regularly made to play the game, where are you from? You know, it's like those kind of who am I games, but with the added joy of trying to delegitimize my right to live here. Where are you from? Tooting. <laughs> nah, mate, really? Nah, what's your background? Where are you really from? <laughs> okay, you got me, you got me. I was born in Hendon. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really a North London boy. Oh, shit. <laughs> nah, where are you really from? Well, what they want to ask is, why the fuck are you brown? Yeah, yeah, walking down the street, you know. And you hear that wonderful refrain. Oi! You! Why don't you go back where
where you fucking came from, you... Thank you very much.